queen back again with another video i mean as you guys know we are consistent if you're new here thank you for stopping by don't forget to hit that subscribe button trust me you're gonna love it here and if you're a retaining subscriber then thank you for coming back so today is day one of our little vloggy vlog vlog and um it's currently like five to three I was actually supposed to leave home at 2, but then when it's time to leave, I don't know, I just start getting busy with like a whole lot of nothing. So this is my outfit of the day. Um, I'm just wearing black shorts, I'm wearing this top, and I'm wearing these shoes. It's giving, it's giving cool girl or whatever. I've actually worn this outfit before, but then when I wore it, I didn't take pictures. So I'm hoping to take pictures today. And also, um, okay, the driver's not here yet, so I have good news, guys. I'm not worried. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw the news yesterday, but not me bagging a campaign with Eve Saint Laurent. What? Because I'm so excited. Like, I literally got my package yesterday this is the package so inside we have the perfume and we also have um coffee beans i'm not gonna open it to show you like the actual content inside because it's actually a new perfume and i'm not sure if we're allowed to show you guys before the campaign goes live so um yeah for now you can just have a look at the box <laughs> It's so so pretty and guys like it smells it smells a lot like coffee like what you're hearing is literally the coffee beans and um okay like I'm not I'm not gonna show you guys like the perfume and stuff because like as I said I'm not sure if I'm allowed to but um yeah it has the paper and the paper literally has like YSL, 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 you've seen the road everywhere. And then, um, it also has like other stuff inside. And then these are the coffee beans. Woo! And I, oh, I'm gonna clean that up. And guys, like, literally, when they reached out to me, because they had actually reached out to me, um, I've been wanting to work with like a luxury brand this year you know like something big something huge and like what's bigger than my oh man <laughs> like it's so crazy and even the timing it came at a time when like to be quite honest with you guys like i was literally like i was fighting for my life i actually still am fighting for my life like literally emotionally i was straight up not having a good time but i'm, I'm doing much better now I'm doing much much better now and I had remembered how like I had written this guys. This was literally um I wrote this on the fifth of February and this was like way before they had even reached out to me. I was just like, you know, I was having my thoughts and stuff. Again, like if you follow me on Instagram, you probably would, would have already seen the story. But um what I wrote was how no one talks about how difficult it is to stay prayed up when literally nothing is going right in your life. To trust that God is listening even when everything is falling apart. Going through the most and trusting God is painful. But that is faith. Faith is continuing to pray even when nothing seems to change or when things seem to be getting worse instead of better. Keep the faith. God listens and forgets not a single utterance of your prayers. So I had written this when I was like so down bad. Like I, I wrote this with tears in my eyes. Like I was literally like, <sighs> and you know what? Like literally every single time when I remind myself to keep the faith and all of that, and like when I work on my faith and when I work on my relationship with God, God shows me why I should trust Him and why I should trust His plan and stuff. So. That was really heartwarming. Like, sorry, not to make this deep or anything. Like, not to make this deep. It's deep, but it's not too deep. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, we've been talking a lot. And the driver even cancelled. So I'm going to have to request again. And then we're going to head on out. Period. 
By the way, I look so cute, guys. Like, I can't believe it. I keep on looking at the monitor to look at myself, but you know what, guys? Ugh, yeah. But anyways, let's go for real. <laughs> I just finished taking pictures in two outfits the first outfit is the one that you guys saw and then the second outfit is this blue one so now um we need to rush to go to the other side hopefully they haven't set up the cafe because i also want to take pictures there so let's go hopefully i can get pictures in the final outfit the final outfit is a black dress it looks so beautiful and yeah basically we just need to wrap this up because like i'm feeling so sick and the longer that i'm outside the more the sickness comes like i'm sure even my voice sounds different so let's just go across the road check out if the location i want to shoot at is you know if it makes sense for what i want to you know what i want to do and yeah i don't even think i'm gonna wear the shorts anymore i doubt i'm gonna wear the shorts anymore i'm probably just gonna like wear the outfit that i'm wearing now and then throw on the t-shirt but yeah without rambling too much let's go for real now okay so this is the background that i wanted to shoot at luckily they have not set up which is perfect last time i came here i could not shoot and i was so heartbroken because i literally came all the way here but luckily today is my lucky day today is my lucky day ah today i'm eating <laughs> today i'm eating um yeah so now i'm just gonna change and i just want to show you guys this outfit this is what i had put on to just like cross but i also think this outfit is eating I'm not gonna lie this outfit <laughs> don't play with me even by accident I put on nice outfits. This was not intentional. This is giving very much. Um, it's giving very much, you know, traffic girls. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go change real quick. I'm gonna go change real quick. I'll show you guys um, how the pictures turn out. It's just that I don't want to like vlog while I'm taking the pictures because I want to like try and hurry because I'm really straight up and not having a good time right now. Not having a good time. I'm so sick. Wow. <laughs>
even and to now do my vlog if we don't go to Woolworths. I love Woolworths so so much. Um, yeah, everything from there is just really great. Period. So um, after the day, I'm just wearing. I'm wearing all black, but I'm kind of irritated because like the black from my shirt is different from the black of my leggings. I hate it when the blacks don't match, but like I'm hoping that it's gonna be a quick in and out. Plus, I'm just having one of those days, guys. Yo, I'm just having one of those days. But I just like I added this to my notes app as well because I was actually just thinking like I was so deep in thought and like I was thinking of like you know water, right? Like water is very, it's very flexible and. You could take a one liter of water and pour it into like different containers and stuff and it's going to fill up those respective containers the best way that it knows how to and that's kind of like what i'm praying for for myself like i'm praying for flexibility i'm praying for the ability to adjust to any situation that i'm in and i'm just praying for strength i'm praying for courage like yeah and i know that god hears my prayers period so without running too much let's go we're just gonna go get a few things and then i'm also going to go get um no i'm actually not gonna get that today i'm gonna get that tomorrow so yeah i also don't want to be out for too long because of my flu so let's go But um, yeah, for those of you who don't know, I recently bought this toner by Skin Functional and I saw the Rotundo had asked me about it on the comments and I had responded to her. But then this is for anybody else who's curious, who did not see my response. So I can't really like say much about the toner because I feel like I haven't been using it for long enough. And like, 
when it comes to skincare stuff i don't want to talk about anything i'm not sure about because like personally i have like really bad skin like there's some people in life who just naturally have good skin i naturally have bad problematic skin let me not even say bad because like it's my skin i've learned to love it it is what it is but i have very problematic skin so i know that there's other people out there who also have problematic skin and there's literally nothing worse than like buying a product and then it makes your skin worse so <laughs> and nighttime scent is a black opium by ysl of course of course guys i actually love this brand so so much not even because I'm working with them. Like, I've been loving it since I was in high school. Like, guys, if you've been following me for a while, you know I used to ride. Well, I still do. I ride so hard for Black Opium. Don't play with it. And, um, yeah. That's just what I wanted to let you guys know. This is how it's looking after using the toner. And this is after I double cleanse, okay? Like, I had to cleanse twice and it's still looking like this. So, as soon as I feel confident enough to, like, actually, like, give proper feedback on the toner. Okay, we're waiting for the inverter to kick in. But, yeah, guys, I hope you're enjoying so far. Hey, guys, welcome to another day. So, we are quickly heading over to Cotton On. You guys know the drill, you already know the drill, you know the vibes, cotton on, babe, or whatever, period. This is my outfit of the day. Yeah. Full outfit from cotton on, of course. Of course. And then um, I'm just wearing these shoes, don't mind these. Actually, mind them, they're so soft. They are so, so soft, and they're also from cotton on. Of course, guys, one thing about me, I really do ride hard for cotton on, hey? And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. So, yeah, let's go get our toes. And then, um, there's something else that we're doing later on in the evening. We need to reshoot the YSL content that I showed you yesterday. But, yeah, we'll get to that when we get to that bridge. <laughs> But for now, let's just head over to Cotton On and see what they have in store for us. On the floor. I keep it juicy, I eat that lunch. She keep that booty, booty. She keep that pump. That nice and beauty, beauty. Footage on my camera, like I was vlogging, right? 
but then yesterday when I went to Rockets, I needed space on my SD card and like I was in such a rush. I was just trying to like delete everything because I was trying to like refilm my content for the YSL reel and then I accidentally deleted my vlog content. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, just to give you guys like a quick um, run around on where we're at right now, I have to reshoot my content again. So, guys, when you watch this video, by the time you watch this video, my reel is gonna be up. Please go like that reel because I put in so much effort in filming it. <laughs> just know I put in a lot of effort in filming it so, <sighs> I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed guys like literally being a content creator is so much work yo I had a lot of work so when you have your favorite content creators please support them because a lot of stuff goes on behind the scenes there's a lot of work that goes on even when they don't feel like it like Right now, guys, I just wanna, well, I just don't wanna, you know. Hey, let me go sleep, yo. Yo. Let me go sleep, yo. Yeah, it's cool though. This is part of my character development. But with all of that being said, with all of that being said, I'm gonna close the vlog off here again. When you are done watching this vlog, please go to my Instagram and please go like whatever reel is there because you guys know I went through a lot to get it. <laughs> I went through a lot. Like, I had to reshoot three times. So please go like it for my sake. Please and thank you. And also, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this gave you guys an idea of what goes on behind the scenes of being a content creator working with you know brands that i currently work with and yeah trust me guys it's not always this stressful it's just that like you know when you get to a newer level you deal with like a newer devil so like i just feel like the level that i've like worked towards i'm going to face challenges that i've never faced before and that's part of the game like that's that's how I know I'm developing, that's how I know I'm working and also if you're in the same situation, reassure yourself that that means you're on a new level now, so that's good, that's good. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, this is it from The Consistent Queen, bye!